everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. I am Scott McDonald. Back at it on a yes. Monday. How about you? Did you have a good weekend? Uh, yeah, kind. Of, I had Friday off, so it was a oh, yeah. long weekend, which was nice. nice. You nice. know what we did? We had a dumpster come to our house. We well, that's exciting. It, yeah, it really is. We won it in a silent <laughs> auction. I know it's a crazy prize to bid on and win, but we won a dumpster, and we've just been cleaning house. It's you know, a great it's, feeling. It's amazing <laughs> how you look at that dumpster, and you're like, there's no way we're going to fill this dumpster. And then yeah. about two days later or two hours later, you're like, we need another I'm dumpster. like, old furniture <laughs> we didn't want. Like, but, but that was my weekend. That is actually kind of Some spring cleaning exciting. in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I had a good weekend. It was fantastic weather this weekend. Absolutely, just yes. great. I just kind of kicked back, relaxed. Did a little barbecue and ah. took it easy. Read some books. It was a good weekend. Not bad. All right, now you're back at it. Back at it, ready to roll on Monday. We got a lot on tap this Monday too. We're going big <laughs> for a Monday. We always do, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. New Haven Cocktail Week is right around the corner. Also, there's a pretty unique gift shop in Old Mystic Village, and we have a Disney character here. Yes. Alice in Wonderland. So we're going to chat with her here. all about the tea room in Old Mystic Village. Yeah, that's going to be fun. We've got a lot of great folks to talk to today. Should we don't, uh, get into the dish? We should jump in, dive into the dish. <laughs> it's all Presented by Stone Academy, The Lion King has been another Disney movie for a box office record. Have you and the kids seen this one yet? Not yet. It no. looks really cool. It does. According to Box Office Mojo, John Favreau's computer animated remake. I mean, look at this. Look at it. It looks great. <laughs> it's a classic scene, right? It's the remake of the '94 Disney movie has made. $1.3 billion. Billion with wow. a B, Teresa, worldwide since its release. That's going to push it past Frozen. No way. I know. I didn't think it was possible, <laughs> but they did. Highest grossing animated film of all time, The Lion King, and it came in third. Over and it's the still going. So it's still we'll have going. To see. You know what, though? Tell you know me. what's coming in a little while in the fall? What? Frozen 2. Is that right? So oh, we I might can't be having wait. another conversation in a little bit of a new box office. That's a favorite in our house. Yeah. All right, uh, so do you pick the marshmallows out of your Lucky Charms, like the little rainbows? When I was yeah. 10 and I ate a lot of when Lucky Charms, <laughs> I did do that. I was a big fan of doing that. Well, 10-year-old Scott will be very happy because <laughs> Lucky Charms is now selling bags of their magically delicious marshmallows. Don't they look delicious? Uh, magically delicious, right? You've got the pink hearts, blue moons, yellow stars, green clovers. The marshmallows are actually going to be oversized versions oh. that you would find in Lucky Charms, but uh, just with the same taste. L this is not going away, Teresa. So yeah. you don't need to rush to the supermarket right now to oh, go get some Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. They're going to be available across the U.S. by uh, the middle of September. So do you have a favorite cereal? Is it still Lucky Charms? Ten-year-old Scott or 41-year-old Scott? <laughs> Oatmeal you today. Um, Oatmeal. Okay. Back in the day, though, I was big into Lucky Charms. Anything with a, you know, a lot of candy. Sugar? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I was good with that. Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, talking about another food today, Chick Fil A. I'm a big fan of Chick Fil A. I am too. It's launching its version of an American classic as a side dish. We are talking about macaroni and cheese. You can't go wrong with this. No, it's so good. You can get it with a kid's meal. You can get it with your lunch. You can get it for your dinner or all by itself. New mac and cheese. The first permanent side to be added to the menu since 2016. Chick fil A saying its mac and cheese will be a special blend of cheddar, parmesan, and Romano. Chain says mac and cheese will be made fresh in their restaurants every single day. Also, rolling out a frosted caramel coffee treat available for a limited time through November the 9th. Have you had the frosted lemonade? No, but it sounds delicious. You got to get in on that. Oh, I will. If I go down there, I'm getting you one, bringing it Thank back. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You're and one of the it. spicy sandwiches. Ah. All right, the curry. Lula, Lula director wants one, too. Two. Anybody else want one? You're taking we'll orders. <laughs> okay. Joyce. Joyce wants one, too. All right, so we're talking about um, something I'm not so familiar with the Korean boy band BTS. Well, I know this is going to upset you, Scott, but they are taking a break. That's it. I'm done with this show and I'm walking away. <laughs> I need to just take some time for myself. Managers for K-pop superstars, uh, they say after performing relentlessly for six years. Where have I been? In, I guess I was having I children. Too. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, they're going to take a little time off. BTS has been busy. Here's a music video. Uh, they've released six albums, six EPs since debuting <laughs> back in 2013. Fans on Twitter have been supportive of the break and thank the band for all their hard work. Does anyone in the audience, are you guys familiar with this? BTS? Getting some heads. No, no, uh, they're, no. They're... Joyce? <laughs> Joyce, our producer, knows. Hence why we Joyce, said the story. Hence why she put it in the... Put it in the show today, Joyce. BTS, I don't know, I'm a big fan of BTS. Well, we learned something today, right? Absolutely. Right. Awesome. Did you see this? No, tell me. 
Simone Biles, she is, she's a superstar too, just like Alexis here, uh, showed once again why many consider her to be the greatest female gymnast of all time. She took home her sixth United Ooh. States gymnastics championship crown. Oh, good for her. She's, the only, she's only the second woman in history to accomplish that. She's breaking all the laws of gravity. Look at this video. Watch this. Watch this. She became the I'm first say, woman. Yeah. I'll read while okay, you okay, watch. Okay, I'm going to okay. watch. She, she attempted to land this. The triple, hey. double, two flips oh, and three twists did. in the air. Yeah. Uh, this was on the floor exercise. 22-year-old, of course, scoring top marks. Wow. Team USA, one more time here. Look at this. Oh, here she is. On the balance beam. The balance She's doing beam. that She's on a balance really beam. really good on the balance beam, too. <laughs> a double twisting, double somersault this month here off the balance beam. It's yeah. amazing. She also nailed the uneven bars routine. We're going to watch that here. She's doing double twisting, double. She nails it. Good for her. She's going to be fun to watch, right? Oh, my goodness. A uh, great night for her. Can't wait till, till we see what she does in the Olympics. Speaking of Olympics.